United States goes to the polls to cast its ballot in the first wartime presidential election in 80 years. Throngs of voters, nearly 50 million, turn out to choose between the Democratic candidate, President Franklin D. Roosevelt, and the Republican candidate, Governor Thomas E. Dewey, through the medium of the free and secret ballot. Civilians vote throughout the country in cities and in rural areas. Members of the American Armed Forces on battle lines around the world cast their ballots. Nearly four million servicemen and women voted. Governor and Mrs. Dewey vote in New York City. At the town hall in Hyde Park, New York, President Roosevelt cast his ballot. The counting of the national vote begins. Swiftly, bipartisan election boards tabulate the figures. Radio stations and networks rush the election returns throughout the nation, and by shortwave, the Voice of America informs the world. In Times Square, New York, a half a million people gather to follow election results. Republican national headquarters, party officials closely follow countrywide statistics. President Roosevelt's early lead is maintained throughout the night. At 3.15 in the morning, Governor Dewey concedes the election. It's clear that Mr. Roosevelt has been re-elected for a fourth term, and every good American will wholeheartedly accept the will of the people. I extend to President Roosevelt my hearty congratulations and my earnest hope that his next term will see speedy victory in the war, the establishment of lasting peace, and the restoration of tranquility among our people. At his family home in Hyde Park, President Roosevelt received the congratulations of his fellow townsmen. of 1944 is over. By vote of the majority of the citizens of the United States, Franklin Roosevelt is elected president for a fourth successive term.